Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. Here we go, let's start the show. No stick by Mr. T. Nintendo video games, all the favorite ones for me. Music review, some gameplay too. Battle and drones is what I do. That's it. Said I anxious to show by Mr. T. Hey, that fools. It's Mr. T. It's me. Really, it is. I'm here on camera in the flesh. <laughs> So, as you guys know, I put out this Twitter poll some months ago and uh, asking you guys, did you want to see me come on camera after all these years? And uh, you said yes. Not at the kind of rate that I was hoping. It was like 57% to 43 or something like that. I was hoping for a more overwhelming margin. Didn't really get that, but... Um, so it kind of made me a little bit apprehensive still. It's like, well, a lot of people still want me to keep my shtick, keep the whole Miz T thing going, um, which I'm gonna do still anyway, but they wanted me to keep the kind of, you know, doll aesthetic, the puppet aesthetic going and uh, not come on camera. But I think it's time. Um, so that's something I wanted to do for a while, if you know, I hang out with those Juice Crew fools, you know, uh, we do a podcast every Monday. Shout out to those guys. Um, I've been talking to them about doing this for like a year or so and, uh, you know, finally it's the time, and I thought E3 would be a good time with uh, reveals going on at E3. Um, they're not quite as big as I was hoping for. I allowed myself to get a little too hype, I guess. Um, so I was thinking, oh, E3 will have some cool reveals, and I'll have my cool reveal on my channel. It's me. <laughs> uh, but it didn't quite happen that way. So let's quickly get into my thoughts on the presentation itself. Um, or the presentations, I should say, because it was multiple ones. EA was the first one I saw. I don't know why I even wasted my time. It was trash. It was just trash. Uh, they have this big game anthem, and they didn't show it very well at all. Uh, at least that's how I felt. Um, so I'm still not sure about the game itself. I mean, it's EA. Um, I don't really care for EA these days as much anymore. So anyway, enough about them. Uh, I can't remember who I saw next, and I'm thinking it was probably Ubisoft, uh, or maybe, no, yeah, it was Ubisoft, it had to be, right? Or maybe it was Microsoft, I think it was Microsoft, doesn't matter, Microsoft came out there, they did their thing, they showed a bunch of games, um, I was hoping myself for one big, like, out of the left field reveal, that didn't happen, but what they did do was show a lot of games, they showed some exclusives, um, they uh, reinsured that you're going to get those big titles that Microsoft Xbox fans like, like the Gears and the Forzas and all that stuff. They reinforced that. Halo, they started off with, although I'm still kind of confused on Halo, like what it's going to be. Is it going to be a reimagining of the first game? Not really sure, but it is what it is. And then they, you know, they showed some cool indie stuff. Ori looks amazing. Ori and Blind Force. Uh, the second one looks great. Um, Love the first game. Yeah, it's they sh had a great show. Um, I thought, um, I, you know, I maybe I marked them less initially because I felt like I I, I wanted one big reveal, like to uh, some big game that we didn't see coming and we, we didn't really get that. But the show was good. It was, it was well paced. Um, like I said, they had a lot of games to show, some good stuff. And uh, I had heard beforehand that there might be a price drop for the Xbox One X, and I was like, oh, it's time to jump in, but that hasn't happened yet. Maybe it still will. Um, but anyway, uh, I thought they had a good show, so I'm going to grade them 7.5. Um, they would have been an 8.5 or higher had they given that one big game. They did reveal Battletoads, which was cool, although they didn't really show anything. But it's cool that they are bringing back some old rare IPs. That is a cool thing. So yeah, I gotta give them props for that, right? But you know, people were hoping for Perfect Dark or something like that, and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get that. Um, but they did do, they did reassure the fans that they are investing in new studios and you know, like they got Ninja Theory. Like they, they aren't playing around. They went out and got some talent. Uh, they were the first to reveal Kingdom Hearts 3 um, on their stage. That's a big thing. I mean, they uh, obviously they're making efforts to appeal to more types of fans. So that's a cool thing. So I'm going to give them a 7.5, you know, but um, I thought it was a good show. Um, uh, next up was probably Ubisoft, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know which order. I'm, 
I don't know. It, don't worry about the order. Uh, Ubisoft had a really good show. Um, I give them my highest marks. I thought they showed a lot of stuff. I always like Ubisoft because they have a variety of things. They, they don't just make one type of game. They, they, uh, they take chances. I think that's cool. And they had a variety of different types of games. Um, Beyond Good and Evil, it's not the game, you know, it's not <laughs> much at all like the game that I know uh, from the GameCube I played it on. Uh, but I mean, the, the characters are still there. Um, it was a nice, cool reveal. And uh, this, uh, at, at, uh, during this press conference or this presentation. So that was cool. And the game, I mean, it looks like, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a good game. Um, it's supposed to be seamless as far as you traverse in the world. That's cool. Um, so got to give them props. They showed some really cool stuff and uh, a lot of variety of things. So they did their thing. Um, so I'm giving them an 8.5. Next up we have on you know my list uh, is Bethesda. Bethesda started off really strong and then they kind of slowed down at the end. And I'm, I'm judging the conference. I think they showed some cool stuff. There's a new Doom coming. Uh, they showed some uh, a new Wolfenstein coming. Like they, their big games were showing up. Obviously, they had to reveal kinda of uh, Elder Scrolls Six, which is something everybody wanted. Um, they had the uh, that Star game. I can't remember the name of it. So they talked. They didn't really show anything for that, but they announced it. It's coming. It's it's been confirmed by them. So that is a cool thing. And uh, I thought they also had a good show. I will be giving them a 7.5. And then you had Sony. Um, as I said a million times before, Sony games don't really appeal to me these days. Uh, my favorite Sony console was the PS1. I thought there was a ton of stuff on that thing. That was a different era. Totally get it. A lot of companies that were making tons of different types of games aren't around anymore. Um, but Sony IPs themselves um, don't appeal to me these days, you know, because uh, they have good exclusives, but most, to me, most of the exclusives are very similar in visual style and look. But I will say the Samurai game, what is it, Ghost of Tsushima, that looked really good, really impressive. Love the color palette. Um, the visual style was really good. Um, I'm not sure what type of game it is. I heard it's like an open world kind of game. So I don't really know, but it'll be cool to see, you know, how that game develops once I see more about it. Um, Sony also showed uh, Spider-Man, which is cool. Like a lot of people, I don't know, it's weird because Spider-Man looks like a good game. It, I'm sure it will be. Um, good pedigree behind it. Uh, was it Sucker Punch? Um, so, I mean, you can look at it, you can tell it's a good game, but for me, it's like, you know, it's a licensed superhero game. And and not to say it's gonna be on the bad end, I think it's gonna be more on the uh, Batman Arkham end, which is a good end, but it's not like a game that I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna go crazy over it. It's, you know, it's a superhero game, it's a licensed game. Um, I know I'm gonna have fun with it. I, I play those, I have tons of those. I love uh, Spider-Man uh, 1 and 2 on the GameCube. Um, I also had Spider-Man on N64 and PlayStation, so um, I know they're going to, I'm pretty sure they're going to be, it's going to be a good game, um, but I'm not like going gaga over it. They also showed more of Death Stranding, which I still don't know what that game is. It was so funny because me and uh, Juice uh, were tweet not tweeting, but we were in the hangout typing back and forth about stuff we were seeing as we were watching the show, and we both like at the same time after seeing some footage of Death Stranding, we were like, walking simulator. <laughs> it's just, cause I still don't know. Should we know like what the game is about at this point? Now, at the time I'm recording this, st more stuff may have come out about it. Maybe they talk more about it later. I haven't seen that. So if I, you know, if I'm stepping over that, then my bad, but I'm just going by what I saw at the presentation itself. And uh, I still don't know what that game's about. Uh, visually, it looks cool. Um, I like crazy abstract uh, film and whatnot, um, but I've, most of what I've seen of that stuff hasn't been that great. Uh, and not that this is a film, it's a video game, but I still don't know what kind of video game it is. And so I have a problem with that. And obviously the first thing they showed was Last of Us. I'm not a Last of Us fan. Um, I played Last of Us, the first one, uh, they showed Last of Us 2. Um, I play Last of Us um, remastered on my PlayStation 4. 
I never got into it. Um, I always heard great things about it, and that's what pushed me to buy it, but not my kind of game. So anything with The Last of Us didn't move me. But, I mean, the show, I, 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 think, I guess it flowed well. There was this one weird intermission where we had to wait, and then they'd talk to the people outside, and that was kind of janky to me. But outside of that, it wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, so I would give their show a 7, you know. You know, for me, it wasn't the best. It wasn't great. Uh, but it, it is what it is. And then we come to what my channel is about, Nintendo and Nintendo's E3. And I was like, oh, man, because not that anything was terrible outside of EA. EA's conference was terrible. But I, uh, <laughs> not that anything was terrible, but I felt like Nintendo was ripe to, like, take the goal, you know, take this win, you know, quote unquote win, because you don't you nobody wins E3. It's just like a fan thing. We talk about that stuff. But. I felt like the the, the 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 time was right, the, the choosing was right, the setting was set for them to like knock it out of the park. And they came out of the gate with this cool, weird mech game by Marvelous and it looked awesome. The art style was great. And I love mechs and Gundam style, you know, robots. It was just, it was great. I just looked beautiful. I'm like, dang, they showing this out of the gate. Like, what do we have in store? And then they kept going and they, show like a highlight reel of games they had dragon ball fighter z in there and like they didn't even care about that game it was just in some quick reel and they showed all the other stuff and then it became like a smash brothers direct and i love smash brothers like and this new smash brothers looks awesome it looks great visually great character roster great modes and uh, uh you know uh, new um new moves and all that kind of stuff awesome like i said new characters but did we need to completely bring it to a halt the direct itself the train that was going so we can do 20 minutes of smash or 25 minutes of smash maybe it was more than that it was at least 25 minutes of smash brothers which is something they could have fleshed out during the treehouse which they will do anyway do we and ultimately that's my biggest problem with Nintendo's Direct this year is that it just felt like a regular Direct. It didn't feel like this is an E3 Direct, you know? And, you know, people will downplay, oh, you, you got too hype, it shouldn't be this, you shouldn't have expected that, blah, blah, blah. I didn't expect a whole lot. You know, I expected, you know, one or two surprises. And there was, you know, obviously that Met game, what was it called, Damon Cross Machinima? Or Machina or something like that. <laughs> Um, there was that, that was a surprise. Nobody knew that game was coming. Um, most of the quote unquote leaks and the Star Fox, uh, Grand Prix didn't show up. That game could still be a game, but none of that happened. And anybody, anybody brought up all these things about what was going to happen. And, you know, uh, that leak, that one leaked list was correct. Um, but all that other stuff that was building up around it, everybody, nobody will, you know to face any consequences for all the stuff they brought up and made people think was coming and all that stuff but the minute they're right they get all the praise when when they're wrong they don't get any there's no consequences for when they're wrong because people are so thirsty for new news they'll just drink everything that comes at them so it is what it is but it just felt like an average direct and i felt like you know this is e3 get the fans hype we knew you know we saw a you know a little metroid teaser thing last year i thought for sure we get like a trailer something you know for that and we didn't get that you know it's like weird why show something teasing last year and then show nothing the following year and you know maybe again in the future direct they'll show that but you know it's e3 this is the time i think to flesh that stuff out and then you can say well the game awards is another time but it's just like you know this is an opportunity i feel like it was wasted i know we we know they got games we know they got stuff that's coming um when we yeah they quote unquote were supposed to focus on what was coming in 2018 but they did show 2019 games yoshi got pushed to 2019 fire emblem got pushed to 2019 that mech game uh damon cross uh machina that game is a 2019 game so they show games that aren't coming out this year so you can't say well they wanted to just focus on 2018 because they showed us 2019 games so it just wasn't it was just meh it was 
for the most part. Obviously, I was hyped for Smash and things like that, but it was just okay at the end of the day. It, it could have been just some regular direct on any other day um, that wasn't E3, and it would have just been, oh, that, that was a cool direct, you know? And basically, that's what it was, but it, to me, it wasn't enough for E3 and for what... You know, Switch is doing great. It's doing amazing. And I felt like, you know, Nintendo was kind of changing their whole secrecy. Not completely, but I felt like they were giving us more than they usually do. And this felt like old Nintendo in a way, which, eh, it is what it is. But anyway, really cool E3. I'm going to be watching more videos. Um, there's a ton of Treehouse I'm going to check out. Um, a lot of Smash stuff, I'm sure. Uh, maybe they'll have some stuff on some games they just kind of showed and didn't talk about. Uh, so I'll be looking for that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, I didn't give them my grade. Uh, Nintendo gets a grade of seven. It was, eh, you know, so it is what it is. Anyway, I love my Switch. I've been buying a ton of games even lately. There's a ton of games I'm going to buy. I have no worries about Switch and uh, games coming to it. I would like to see more from Eastern third party. Um, I haven't seen a ton I would like to see more from the bigger guys out there. Uh, but we do have some cool games coming from them. Octopath, which I pre-ordered. I got the special edition. Looks awesome. So I'm happy. I'm happy with my Switch. And I'm happy. I'll be happy for the rest of this year. Just wanted one surprise. Just one surprise. But it is what it is. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about my thoughts on E3 and my coming on camera. Is this weirding you out <laughs> that, that I don't have a mohawk? Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys, for all your support um, throughout the years. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping to do bigger things with my channel. That's one of the reasons I'm on camera now. So, you know, help a brother out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Share the videos. Leave a comment. Do all that good stuff. You know, you know what to do. Do it. Just do it. Do it. All right? Do it. Anyway, thanks, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. And as always, see you next time. Or should I say... See you fools next time. Peace out. But I kind of feel like I'm like I'm forgetting something. Like what am I forgetting? Oh yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo fools. <laughs>